Represent the data set below by creating a histogram. How tall will you make the bar for students between 50 to 59 inches? Now I'm going to start off by creating my graph. Now what's important about a histogram is the bars represent ranges. So I see our lowest value is 38 and our highest is 61. So my first bar will represent 30 to 39 inches. Notice how it's not just a single value, but it will be all um, values between 30 and 39. Next I'll have 40 to 49, then 50 to 59, and finally 60 to 69. All of these are height in inches. It's always important to label your graphs. Now, going up the y-axis, that will represent the number of students. So I'll just use intervals of 5. 5 students, 10 students, 15 students. So I'm going to then look through and see how many students fall under each category. For the 30 to 39, there's only one student within that range, so my bar here will only be one high. 40 to 49, I'll count across, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my bar here will go up 12. Now notice how in a histogram, the bars touch. So I'm going to connect the bars. 50 to 59, now I have 51, there's the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this bar will be, oops, let's change back colors, will be 14. I could just connect it. And last, we have 60 to 69, where again, there's only one student. So the bars are this high, what I've just written. The question is, how tall will you make the bar for students between 50 to 59 inches? Here I have 50 to 59. It is 14 students high for our correct answer of 14.